He is coming down now. Holy winter is trying its 17th attempt. We've been getting huge snowstorms and then we've been getting 13 degree weather and lots of rain. So anyways, I'm packing up. I'm heading up north in the morning. It's about noon right now, Wednesday. I'm heading up to Gravenhurst first thing to get the studded tires going again. It's been pretty much a year since I've been on these bad boys last winter. So we have the new 2222 Maverick. We're gonna slap them on there. We're gonna go for a rip. Oh yeah, she's gonna be fun. This thing is so much faster, so much more powerful. We got this new Simpson racing seats from Jay. They're so freaking comfy. This one's a little higher, kept her higher for Laura. I'm obviously tall, so I put mine lower. Yeah, just gonna run over and get some gas for this thing. Then she's go time, get her wrapped up. You're gonna love, I got a giant tarp for it because I didn't feel like buying an $800 cover. And you know what? If I ruin a tarp, whatever, let's get a new one. We got some freshy DeWalt stuff. We got a nice little radio here. Check this bad boy out. We got the radio, we got the new grinder. This thing is absolutely amazing. But my most favorite toy, is the electric, I guess, cordless grease gun. I've been using this on the Maverick. You know, you just go put her on there, squeeze it, and grease goes in. There's, I don't know, I think there's like eight, eight grease fittings on there. So way easier with that thing. You're not holding it and trying to pump it. You just hold it and press the button and it just plops right in. You know, grease guns, when you don't hold them straight on, they leak and stuff. Yeah, that thing, you just hold it, press the button. No leak, no problem, so. And then, can crushers arrived. So if you guys haven't checked out Badass Can Crushers yet, there's the Instagram there if you wanna pick one up. But yes, this thing is amazing. This is an air one. Uh, they're coming out with electric ones soon, and if you do want one, make sure you get on the list, because uh, I know the list is already, I think, over 100 people, so. And he's got some lights in here. Obviously, I can't do it right now because it's not hooked up to anything, but yeah, check it out. Badass can crushers. All right, let's go get some gas, then we'll load this thing up and throw the tarp on and see what it looks like. Yeah, fill her up. I think premium is only 169 today. A little cheaper. Yeah, what do we got? She's freaking coming down. Yeah, uh, the old FedEx guy has parked right in the middle. <laughs> Must have walked it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the storm just gets, keep, keeps getting worse and worse. Got my gas, trailer ready. I haven't used this trailer in a while. Thinking about getting rid of it and getting a bigger one or an enclosed one. It's got the Maverick gassed up and on the trailer. And here's my giant tarp. Let's see how well it works. These dang gas cans. I wish they had a vent on them. Junk, junk, junk. I was thinking about washing it, but A, it's freezing cold outside in a snowstorm, and B, as soon as I get on that ice, this thing's gonna clean itself off, so. I did clean the window off, though. I'll probably run it with it open, though. We'll see. Oh, another package has arrived while I was at the gas station. Look at this, new Stanley 183-piece set. I was definitely due for a freshie, that's for sure, so. Yes, DeWalt's, I believe, owns Stanley, or Stanley owns DeWalt's, so. Let's open this bad boy up. Here, I'm gonna, a nice freshie in a while. Oh, look at that. Nice, and they all pop in. Some of them are not for some reason, but anyways, can't wait to check this out. All the different sizes, extensions. Your Torx wrenches, or your Torx bits, your wrenches, Allen keys, all the other bits, adapters. Yes, thank you, Stanley and DeWalt. All right, let's load this thing up. I feel like I haven't driven this thing in a while. Ooh. Got a full tank of gas. We are street legal. Definitely gonna be rocking sport mode this, uh, this fun film shoot. It's gonna be fun putting that tarp on too with all this wind. <laughs> all right, let's let this thing warm up. Purring like a kitten. I kind of like the stock exhaust on this thing. I was thinking about putting the, the bypass on, but just keeping the stock exhaust. So 
You can go super loud or keep it nice and quiet. I mean, the stock exhaust sounds pretty good when you're wide open. Anyways, we got the old Bull Light wheels out here. It's been a while. Full year, we got some cobwebs on, but definitely the best, uh, the best rims I've ever had. Oh yeah. And the studs, look at those bad boys. That's all you need. 40 bucks they spent on these at the hardware store. And they work absolutely amazing. Let's load it up. Fighting the tarp in the wind. I believe it's a 30 by 40. It's freaking huge. We're gonna take anything. See if we can launch her up there. This thing is freaking peppy, I'll tell you that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I think I'm a little close to the other side there. Oh well. Make it work. Wrap her up like a Christmas present. Oh yeah. She's definitely not beautiful, but after a good half hour, got her on there. So I believe it's a 30 by 40 tarp with 12 bungee cords and uh, five five tie-down straps. <laughs> kind of looks like the Batmobile. These are the jets. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna take her for a little test run down the road. I'm not worried about the back, I'm worried about the front because that's where all the salt and crap gets in. Back will be fine. And whatever, whatever if it does. They make new Mavericks every day, I'll just get a freshie. All right, that looks hilarious. She's holding up. I think we'll need maybe one more, one or two more straps. Just on that side piece and over the top. But yeah. Currently got the freezing rain hitting us. Hopefully it stops soon, who knows though. I don't really want to drive tomorrow if it's if we got an inch of ice on the road, but gotta do what you gotta do for the content. Look at the ice forming already. Holy jump jump. And we are back favorite store. More straps. And a Mazda getting all that toy. She doesn't have enough. These Princess Auto dog toys are indestructible. All right, what else? All right, grab a new horn for the Maverick since I filled mine full of mud, a couple bungee cords. I think that's it, let's rip out of here. She is five in the morning. We got some uh, freezing rain last night, but usually it's like pure ice. This is uh, snow and freezing rain. Like you got about an inch. It's weird, I'm not even sinking in. No, well, it's at the road. Oh yeah, getting after it. Getting those YouTube videos early today, 521 in the AM, minus five, following slow people. Here we go, let's go get the Mav. And the Maverick, oh, she's not a frozen brick, that's good, so. Grab some more straps from Princess Auto last night, just rigging them up. Everything is frozen. <laughs> look, look at that. <laughs> oh, icy everything. Oh, I'll strap these on and get out of here. Not to wake my dad up. And we are off the farm. Dash is all lit up. Let's get to where we're going. People in the ditch today. You can't pop there. He was just trying to get there in prime time. <laughs> see what else we can see. Oh yeah, we are just got on the 400, gripping and ripping. Tons of terrible drivers out there. It's minus eight and it's raining right now. Look at this. 
don't know if you can see it on my shirt, but yeah, it's, it's currently raining, so uh, I guess it's kind of freezing rain, but she's pretty wild drive. This thing is working hard. I'm getting after it. I'm just gonna throw a few more bungee cords on. Only had to tighten a couple straps once, but uh, everything else, pretty good. We're gonna give this thing a wash when we get there. Get, uh, get the straps clean, clean the tarp off, clean this off. All right, let's uh, keep after it. This is my view right now. Freezing rain is hitting hard. It's uh, minus nine degrees. This happened about in about 45 seconds. It instantly froze. Even with the defrost down as high as it'll go, windshield wipers going. So I'm gonna have to pull over soon. I can barely see. Quick little pullover in Barry. I'm. Uh, that was wild. That freezing rain literally left the last on road got on the road and within a minute the window just froze up solid so i was pouring the juice on her defrost on high and uh, windshield wipers on high and it was just caking on more so it is uh melting off now let me try the wipers here uh, yeah clear it off and carry on let's roll look at this some fresh powder last night made it Giving her the hot bath, get all the get all the salt and highway junk off her. The tarp worked well. My 85 straps looks like the Batmobile under there. Not too bad. Just didn't cover the back, but I'm not too worried about that. She's fine. Snow will wash it off. Oh yeah, studded tires are in the back of the truck. We'll get those out. Swap them around. These aluminum fenders just freaking shake themselves apart, eh? And everyone stands on them, so that doesn't help. Oh yeah. Can't wait to hit the lake. Definitely so nice up here. I wish I could be here freaking all the time since we don't get winter back home. No snow blower. Getting her cleared out. Oh, double snow blower, look at that. Washing all the junk off. Thank God for hot water. All right, let's get over there and swap those tires and start ripping. She's been outside all night. Freezing rain, snowstorms. Fires up, no problem. Good to go. Can't wait to put about 200 kilometers of wheel spin on this today. You about ready to go? <laughs> <laughs> you almost ate it there. Icy. Icy, icy. You ever stand on a tarp, wet and slippery? Oh my God, I almost died twice. <laughs> Just notice that. That's my engine temp. That's my belt temp. Hey, Darren. You ever see that? Engine temp minus five? No. <laughs> I, I didn't know it went in the minuses. When the sleds start up. My belt temp's minus six, my engine temp's minus two. Oh, there she goes. She's warming up. I'm going to let this thing warm up for about 20 minutes. Hey, we got to swap the stud of tires. Good to go. Good old tarp. Why would I buy a cover when I can freaking just put that money towards the trailer? That's uh, the next trailer we need for this thing. That worked out so good. Oh, we got the jack. Okay. Do you maybe should we maybe put it back on the trailer before? Uh, oh yeah. Just definitely. to change the tires. Yeah, you're gonna rip I don't. Apart. Yeah, I'm gonna rip the edge of the trailer yeah, off of the tires. Yeah, it's not gonna work. All right, let's do it. The cordless life. So the freaking Dewalt saving the day every day. Uh, lost in the woods. Bring that thing. So yeah. He's mostly one held air for the summer, yeah. this one, but these ones definitely lost air. That's fine. As long as they hold air for the day, that's all that matters. Yeah, as long as they get you there. Yeah. Pull this thing back in the trailer, swap them out. Then uh, the lake's about two blocks away, so we'll head over there. Then it's freaking ripping time. That's why you need the big jack, eh? It's like endless freaking travel on this thing. It just keeps going. Yeah, the hydraulic jack does not stand a chance. Fucking hoist. We got the freshy DeWalt there. Hold it, you're tipping. I don't know what to do now. 
Um, the jack stands aren't going to do anything. Why don't you put it right down and then just yeah. put it up against uh, okay. either the bar or whatever. Like, we don't have to always, do them both. Always hang on to the handle when you're going down. Oh, yeah. Does she like to fling up and hit you in the yeah. mouth? Uh, I right. put, put my whips down see if we can raise those back up. Hey, we got a freshy half inch impact uh, DeWalt here. All the different modes. Oh, those things will rip the nuts off our old beat up semi truck, an old beat up Dodge. All right, got the tires pumped up. These things are gonna party today. I can't wait. Put the old half inch to the test. Pretty good tool. <laughs> yeah, it's a little overkill for uh, for these tires, but whatever works to get the job done, right? Some F1 uh, tire change here. NASCAR. Yeah. Daytona 500 motivation. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Snow a little bit. Good to go though. So these are 30 inch studded tires. These are actually 32s. Okay. So I did 30s it's because I didn't want to didn't want to rub rub the inside. But yes, they are. Well, you're about to see how amazing they are. Oh yeah. And we are ready to rock and roll. Been a year since we've been on these things with the bull light rims. Man, these look freaking nice. Oh yeah. Put a little more air in them. Just bolts. That's all you need. Don't need to spend a thousand dollars. I spent 40 bucks. <laughs> All right, let's rock. All right, back at the lake again. We got the sled, we got the DeWalt in case we need air. It's letting this thing warm up again. Can load everything up, drop everything off at the cottage. That's just lake time. And maybe go for dinner later. We'll see if there's time. Or maybe I'll take my truck on the lake and absolutely do a million donuts until I get dizzy. You never know. Got the kit. Look at those studs. Oh yeah. So I don't know if you guys remember the last videos we were here a few weeks ago. There was about a foot of snow in the lake that we had to pile off. So it's been pretty warm in the meantime and all that snow melted and then it froze. So this is all ice. And then there's only about this much snow on top, which is awesome. A lot easier, we don't have to plow it off. We'll just, we'll just do a few laps, make a sick track, and then it's go time. Chilly out today. The deer have arrived. Hello, little, little guy. Another deer just sitting up there, cruising. They just filled up the, the feeder here, so they probably heard it. I wonder how close you can get to them. Where's that other guy? There it is. I'm sure there's about six more waiting over the hill. All right, should we test these tires out? Let's see if we can find a good spot to make a little track. What a beauty day. No sun today though. But it looks like it has stopped snowing. Woo! A lot warmer when you have a bill of clouds on this one. <laughs> Setting up in the back channel here, no tracks yet. Make a little course and have some fun. Right? <laughs> and 
<laughs> Man, the rooster tail and like the dust cloud is, is crazy. Huge? <laughs> yeah, it's huge. I know the faster you go, the better. I uh, I did a slow one over there. Yeah, and it was just flying in the wind of it. Right. Oh, lots of fun though. Yeah. It's a little weird with the snow on top. It's like catching and then not catching. But, yeah. Uh, oh, it looks like she's hooking up good. We'll set up the cones and. Uh, yeah, let's make a little track. Do some time trials or something. Excellent. Giving her a little inspection after the first rip. The cones have been put out. Darren's out there just making a little track. There's another one over there. And then, uh, yeah, I'll hit her a few times, four or five laps, so it'll clear all the snow off. It all ended up in my hood. I should have put my back windshield on. Actually, it wouldn't really even matter. It was coming in mostly through the windows. The fast drifting is good. It's when you do the slower drifting, that's when it shoots in the windows, so. Oh yeah, beauty day out here. Be nice if the sun was out, but you know what? This'll do. Beauty. Got two left. Yeah, I'm thinking like one right here, one right here, and then I'll zigzag. Yeah. I'll do a loop around that one. Exactly. And then yeah, yeah. over to there. Yeah. That was a quick rip. Good. And then yeah, you hop in, and we'll uh, we'll do a few hot laps till she till the snow's cleared off. I think so. Look at these skis, eh? Right. Yeah, these are great, man. Back oh yeah, these are clip-ons, eh? Yeah, yeah, you just put the carbide in. Great for slush, so much float. I got them on all my sleds, I love them. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Trails. That's awesome. All right, yeah, let's, let's do this. Down yeah. <laughs> That's I came amazing. In a little too close and clip that cone. Yeah, that guy's dead. I, uh, I ended up going further and I hit that slush. Yeah, you can a really bit. feel it grab. That's too bad. Must have broke yeah. the ice. Good stuff. Good. How's the machine? I got that quarter figured out a little better too. Yep. It's working good. So, um, take a little break. Yeah. I'm Cooler down. Even bringing in a little closer. Yeah, I can't uh, really see you when you're way out there. Yeah, I get way too far out there. Yeah, but, uh, nice little. Yeah, maybe just bring these two in closer. Yeah. And then basically, I'll come around that fire one and then just drift this right in. So it'll be a giant drift. Okay. So. Sounds good. All right, let's do it. Take a break. Oh man, what a day, what a day, what a day. We're gonna throw the drone up, get some shots, maybe do some slow-mo stuff. And uh, I don't know what, you know what time it is? I think it's 2.20. Oh, perfect. I thought it was like four or five. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Say it was getting a little dark. Yeah. Hey, we got to come out after dark too with the lights. I think that'd be great. Get the light bar out. Yeah. Get the pylons here. There's nobody up on the lake We'll, right we'll make just a small drifting spot and I'll really, uh, really get her going here. Cool. All right, we good to go? Yeah. Perfect. Let's do it. Up, up we'll just... I might need my phone too.
drone up in the air. Gonna try and get a couple more shots. Uh oh. Yeah. Is there ice underneath that or? Oh yeah. Yeah, you'll be fine. But uh, I was scared of that. I think we, let's tuck the cones in a little bit. Yeah. I don't need to catch let's, that. No, really that'll cause fine. you to roll. Yeah. I thought it was gonna hit you the one time. <laughs> it looks so good. Does it? Yeah. Sick. No. I'd say let's uh good driving buddy. I think you should hop in, we'll go for a ride again. I'll show you the new track. Okay, sounds good. Alright, let's do it. Quick little update. That front tire is almost flat, so it's gonna put some extra air in these bad boys. Especially when you have two people in this thing. She's got some decent body roll when you're wide open. These bullet wheels though, I'm telling you. They are working well with these studs. Oh yeah. More technical issues. We got out there, we spun about six laps and then my mirror started to fall off. So alignment. we got the bolt though. She didn't, we didn't lose it. Gotta see what's going on behind us, right? Gotta look at that sick roost. Might be losing parts. Yeah, I'm sure we've lost a few already, but that's how you shed weight these days. Okay. We lined up? I think, I think so. Let's take a peek. There you go. All right, let's get back out there. We have our culprit. This one is uh, a little too tight, as you can see there. Oh, I'm just talking to myself. So we're losing air again, but... See, this is what... Oh, even this one's leaking. I thought that if you put them in too tight, then that's why they leak, but I guess some... Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to run some goo gone or some goo in there. Yeah. We're having a time either way.
looks pretty good. That was a good shift there. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I got a little too close to the exhaust, buddy. You did? Yep. Oh, you burned. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's the end of these guys. <laughs> I wouldn't have predicted that. Wow. Right? I, I have my foot on the hook. Huh. Yeah. Oh, you're really close. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. That was too much fun. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming out to the lake. Oh, definitely awesome building a racetrack out here. And this is going to be my funnest corner. Yeah. Looking wide open. I thought for sure I was going to blow a belt. I was trying. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, we're losing air pretty quick on that tire now. So we're going to head back. Maybe take the truck out on the ice. I think uh, there's enough ice for it. We could yeah, do a couple laps. We still got like an hour or two late. So. We do. Have yourself a fantastic day. Check out Bullet Wheels. Check out the links below and get yourself a battery. We'll see you guys later.